Hello and good morning everyone, Joe Justice here coming to you live, well not exactly, because something's wrong with Facebook live videos this morning, I cannot go live, so instead I'm recording this now and I'll be uploading it a little bit later, not a big deal, but I wanted to drop in here and make sure I talk to everybody, give everybody a little bit of Monday motivation to get your week started off straight. Over the weekend I had a awesome time going to we had scout camp so I took my boys and we went to camp arrowhead which is uh, right outside of barbersville it's an awesome uh, boy scouts uh, camp it's been there for a long long time and they've got all kinds of forts and climbing walls and they got a pond and we did bb guns and archery and all the cool awesome fun stuff and we had an absolute blast so now I'm trying to get everything back to normal, you know, we, we left uh, right after work on Friday and gone all day Saturday and Sunday, and it's just been kind of like getting back into my habits and getting everything back under control. I really love, you know, getting off, uh, off my routine a little bit, but it is always a challenge to get back on the routine and still kind of in, in camp mode. So I was wanting to talk today, I was, I've been thinking... The next big thing that I'm going to be working on is uh, what we call like hero content, which is like your big, your main primary content, like the stuff that's, um, you know, takes a little bit longer, you kind of put together, you don't just kind of slap together uh, some longer form videos that people can watch and are educational, uh, you know, like things that are like 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes long that, that people can enjoy as opposed to, you know, the short uh, bit stuff. So. And what you want to do with your hero content is really provide a lot of information, a lot of value, kind of your core ideas, your core components of what you've been, uh, of what you present, what you believe, and see if that resonates with anybody. So I've been thinking a lot about what that means. What is that? What is my core content? What is my, um, my, you know, what would you call it? like my manifesto, my way of thinking, the thing that I think is the most valuable uh, to for people and for people to, to work on and think about. So I've been thinking a lot about that and really my, so I have like two big ideas that kind of all of my ideas kind of go down to these, these, two, these two areas. The two big ideas are do the smallest thing and have an idea, an ideal. So an ideal, that's like your big goal. That's what most people talk about when they talk about goal setting when you read like books or watch videos or anything else on goal setting, they have this great big, you know, I want to be the, you know, I want to be rich. I want to be a multimillionaire or I want to be just like Arnold Schwarzenegger or I want to be, you know, just like LeBron James. I want to be like these big, um, uh, I don't want to say impossible goals, but like these just kind of big out of control, overly ambitious and sometimes even ambitious goals like, I want to have, uh, you know, like even, you know, bringing down, I want to have six pack abs. Like that's like a big uh, ideal goal. The problem with those types of goals is they're, they're not real. They're not concrete. They're not, there's not something that you can actually touch. You can get out their, their concepts and they're so far out and the human brain doesn't really understand time very well. So you wake up one morning and your goal, your goal, what you're striving for is to have six pack abs, let's say. Well, you're not anywhere near that. You're, you're nowhere near achieving that goal. So that more times than not uh, becomes depressing. And you don't have any kind of day to day way of getting closer to that goal. You don't even have a week to week way of getting closer to that goal. I mean, like for most people getting down to, you know, like, uh, like single digit body fat, which you would need for, uh, for six pack abs would, is, you know, you're talking about doing something that's going to take weeks and weeks and weeks. You're not going to see results tomorrow. You're not going to see results a week from now. So you take a week of discipline and then you see nothing, but then you've got this goal, you've got this vision in your head. Well, what all that's going to do is lead to depression. Uh, you know, you're going to give up. You're going to see, you know, it's not worth it. What's the point? That type of thing. So that's not good. That's not where you want to be. Where you want to be is the, the zone of proximal development, which is where you can get a little bit incrementally better. 
every day and you can measure it and you can know, okay, all those things I did yesterday, or it maybe even smaller, all those things I did this hour, they accomplished a goal that I was trying to accomplish. They, they put something into motion. They got me closer. That's when humans really strive. That's when we do our best. And I was listening to a podcast over the weekend, and they were talking about there's a part of the brain that actually sets rules. And it's the part of the brain that controls uh, the dopamine circuitry. So it actually gives you so, if you... so it has a set of rules, and there's a, a various sets of rules given different uh, situations. So there's a set of rules that your brain understands if you obey those rules then you get a little shot of dopamine and the only reward system in the brain is the dopamine release so let's say it's your hunger your hunger has a set of rules eat you know eat food put something in your mouth that's edible and eat it so as soon as you take that thing you put it in your mouth and you eat it then bam you get you get an award uh, of, of a dopamine hit but that's based on rules and but they've done studies apparently according to this neuroscientist, that you can change the rules through, it sounded to me like you could change it through habit. It sounded an awful lot to me like it was habit that he was describing. But basically, you know, he said through uh, discipline and through um, focused effort, you can change the rules. So they've done, they did these studies um, using you know uh, brain scans and, and, and measuring chemicals and all this kind of stuff that people that for example that fast are able to achieve the same dopamine hit from abstaining from food that people that that, that you get when you crave food and you eat food so you same thing with like exercise so you'll get that dopamine hit when you complete an exercise whereas before you trained into that discipline, before you achieved that discipline, you wouldn't get like you would get. Uh, you would not receive an award for engaging in physical activity. Your body would try to get away from physical activity because your body doesn't want to be involved in physical activity. But you can train your mind, and I think that I think that describes habit. That to me sounds like habit. If you do something every day and you do it consistently and you do it time and time again and then you start to see like over time uh, changes that are made that are positive then that starts to reinforce this idea in your head that I did this thing and then look at what I've accomplished from doing this thing and then that reward system starts to say oh this is the state like hunger this is the state that I was in when I w was getting closer to that goal that I'm after and then so from there, you start getting those uh, those rewards. So, but they come in time. You have to train your brain to do those things. Your brain doesn't do that right out of the gate. You don't just wake up one morning and then say, from from now on, I'm not going to eat uh, breakfast and I'm going to feel just fine. If you've eaten breakfast every day your entire life, that's going to give you a lot of trouble. Your body's not going to like that. Not going to like that change at all. So you have to change your uh, you have to change that through habit so I, I think of all this stuff as habit Hab, habit I think is the cornerstone to uh, to health and fitness way more than anything else and that's why I say do the smallest thing so you do have an ideal your ideal is like this this big goal and then you have your habits you have your everyday and those are literally the smallest thing you can do to accomplish that goal if if the smallest thing you can do when it comes to diet if the smallest thing you can do is skip the cookie at the end of the meal, skip the cookie every day. You know, skipping one cookie is not going to make any difference, but you turn into a habit and then every day you'll start to lose weight and you'll do better and then that'll then that will become a new baseline because you've developed a new habit and you've gotten a new type of award from your brain for doing that. And then so from there you can add on to it. You'll, you're, you're going to physically change. Your, your brain is going to set new rules. The habit's going to get instantiated in your body. And then you can add more and more and more to it. So that's really my overall kind of concept that I'm going to try to flesh out in a video um, explaining this kind of hero content type video to explain you need to have an ideal 
of where you want to be, something to strive for, something big, something ambitious. There's nothing wrong with any of that stuff. But you need to con that's it that's abstracted. That's out there in the ether. This this big idea concept is not real. So then you have to make it real. You have to make it concrete. You have to instantiate it in reality every day, day after day. Figure out what's the smallest thing that you can do to get to that big goal. And once you figure out that smallest thing, then you start doing that smallest thing. And then start doing other small things. And then day after day after day, the smallest thing, the smallest thing, the smallest thing. Till eventually you're actually doing big things but they're going to creep in and you're going to achieve those goals as long as you stay small aim low but have a high ideal of yourself and then you can do it all right guys this has been great sorry the uh the the live stream wasn't working today hopefully we can get that worked out hopefully facebook gets that fixed by tomorrow but i will upload this as soon as i'm done here and if you have any questions, feedback, comments, be sure to send them to me and I will talk to you guys later.